This is the Runner series from iPanda, I think. Or I can't remember. I'll, I'll put a link to this in the description. This is a very efficient charge controller. If anybody needs a good one, they, it's been really good to me so far. These aren't MPPT at all. Anything this thing says on here is bullshit. The only thing it does is you can actually program it for your batteries, which is good. Don't believe anything this company says. This one here is really good for efficiency. See, here's the watts coming in from the solar panel, and here's the watts going to the battery. It's on a 500 watt solar panels array out there right now it's early in the morning here's the date and they're, it's blocked by trees too so 9.26 a.m. and it it has the cloud here Yeah, it's it's really efficient compared to the others that are on the market. This one's the best I've seen. And it has the this up here too. That's all your info. History parameters can all be set on here. Load parameter. It's the 60 amp version. It's pretty efficient, 32 watts charging. I was getting 32. You can see the two there. Right now it's seeking quite a bit because there's a big tree blocking the panels and the leaves are bouncing back and forth. So it's shading it quite a bit with the sun shining and then shading. It's tracking lots. About 10 a.m. it's clear. At about 400 watts you lose about 4 watts. Like every 100 watts it seems you lose about 1 watt of energy for the NPPT. I'm back in here now again. It's 9.54 a.m. now. There's one tree branch that's still getting blown back and forth on the solar panel. But now you can see the voltage is right in the maximum power point. It's generating 224 watts. Like you can see here, that's the watts in and that's the watts out to the battery. It's 
usually one watt difference per hundred watts going in. It's always in the maximum power point too. The only time it seeks is when there's a tree blowing across the panels or it's in really cloudy situation. See the battery temperature down there. See, I've got this here too. It's two hundred eighty, two hundred seventy watts going in total because there's a couple solar panels on this piece of shit I definitely recommend this one. It's also able to be slaved, if anybody knows what that means. I've got the second port right here. And this one you can hook up to a slave. It's pretty good. It's got fans in it though. I know some people don't like that. I don't mind it, it's all good. You can't adjust the parameters on here. You'll need a laptop with the cable or the cloud box. And the the staff there at this Chinese company is really good too. They're easy to work with. Thanks for watching.